welcome to this episode of Art with Miss Myra. I'm so very glad that you've joined me today. Hope everybody is having a great day. I can't wait to show you today's project that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a scribble initial t-shirt today. This is something that all the kids can customize and stuff uh, for themselves or if they want to make one for a friend of theirs and stuff. This would be a really cute little gift and stuff. But this is a project that with a little bit of help and a little bit of assistance, even the little kids can do it. And, and so it's just going to be so much fun and stuff. And I can see maybe if, um, you know, grandmas and grandpas and stuff, if you have little kids that are coming to your house over the summer months, uh, this is a project that, you know, all of the little grandkids could make. Um, and it's just a really cute little project, okay? So let's get started. The supplies that we're gonna need for this project is you're going to need a plain white t-shirt. Plain white t-shirts are really inexpensive. I bought a pack of three um, in uh, size small, six to eight, uh, for like six bucks today and stuff. So this is a really inexpensive project too, okay? So you're gonna need your plain white t-shirt. You're going to need either permanent um, Sharpie markers or you're going to need some kind of fabric marker, okay? So I've opted to um, use the, the these fabric markers by Tulip uh, and you know these are readily available just about anywhere. I pick these up, believe it or not guys, at my local True Value store. So even if you live in a small town uh, where you know maybe your art supplies are a little bit limited, always be on the lookout for you know art supplies in unusual places and stuff like I said this came from the hardware store today and stuff who would have imagined they have fabric markers there guys <laughs> okay you're also gonna need a scissor you're going to have access or you need to have access to a printer um, for us to make our initials um, on and um, I actually um, I don't have a printer at home so I went to my local uh, library and uh, printed off um, an initial. I'm gonna make um, a couple of t-shirts today for some little friends that I have. Um, and I printed off an O because um, I have a little friend named Olivia and she is gonna be getting uh, the t-shirt with the O. Um, and, but you want to you wanna make a big font size, okay? So this font size is like 600. You're gonna wanna enlarge it, you're gonna wanna make it big. We, you know, this is something that's going to be on the middle of your t-shirt and stuff, so we want to make it big so it stands out, okay? So, um, after you get that done, then you need freezer paper, okay? So, freezer paper, you know, in, is found in the local um, grocery store or if you have a Dollar General near you and stuff that, you know, you can get it. And there is two sides to freezer paper. There's the shiny side and the dull side. When we uh, get ready to work with this, we are going to work dull side up, okay? That's very important. We have to work dull side up. So when we get ready to do our cutting, uh, we are going to treat our um, initial as a stencil, all right? And this is where the little kids might need a little bit of help, all right? So moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, if you are helping aunts and uncles, if you are helping along with this project, you might need to help out the, the kids out a little bit and stuff with this part of the project. You're gonna take your scissor, you're gonna cut out the black part of your letter, of any letter, and uh, you're going to create like a stencil, okay? Then we are going to put this, like I said, dull side up, and we're gonna take our pencil and we are just going to draw around our initial of our stencil. Oh, oh. And I just made a little boo-boo, but that's okay. I'll just go around. Continuing on. So we want to create that stencil on our freezer paper dull side up. So I'm writing on the dull side. Okay, when we get that drawn out with our pencil, we're just gonna pick it up and we're going to cut around and make the stencil part of our, um, you know, with this freezer paper, we're gonna have it just like our, um, our paper that we just traced around, okay? So you're gonna wanna just go in there 
and cut it out just like a stencil. And I'm not going to bore you guys with, with cutting that out. Y'all know how to cut things out and stuff, but like I said, you're going to make on the freezer paper and stuff, you are going to want to make your stencil. Um, and then we're going to place it dull uh, with the dull side up. And we're going to go in um, to where we have our iron and we're going to, on the highest setting, this is another something and stuff that, um, you know, you might need a little bit of help with and stuff. So whoever is helping along with this project, you might want to do this portion of it. I would not advocate uh, little kids ironing <laughs> unless they are under direct supervision. You're going to iron this down on your t-shirt and then that's when the fun begins. And I already have a t-shirt here that I have prepped and, and gotten ready and stuff. This is an O. I actually have another little friend named Owen. So he's probably going to get this little t-shirt. Okay. So I hope I'm not ruining any surprises here and stuff. But you can see I, I traced around the O. I cut out the circle for the inside of the O. And I have my stencil. If I look at this, this looks like a stencil and stuff. And it is adhered to my t-shirt now because when you, um, you know, iron over this, this uh, freezer paper, it adheres down to your t-shirt. But the fun thing is this, guys, okay, when we get all of our coloring done on this, you can lift this paper up and you've got the outline of your initial. So isn't that cool? All right, so again, I'm gonna be using these uh, fabric uh, markers from Tulip and I'm just gonna have fun with this, okay? I'm just gonna start coloring in here and I'm just going to make squiggles and lines and I'm not really doing any kind of certain design. And this is where the kids can really individualize and make this their own. They can customize um, whatever they would like and stuff on their t-shirts. And so this is why this is so much fun and stuff because the kids are making something that is very personalized and fun. And it is something that is really unique to them. make all kinds of things you can you know maybe draw little pictures draw little lines and you can do as much or as little as you would like Just for fun, I'm going to kind of go with my black on the outside. I'm not going to make it perfect. I just want to give kind of the outline of that initial though, so it stands out a little bit more. Since I'm not solidly coloring in everything, Add a little bit of yellow. I'm not sure how well the yellow will show up, but that's okay. These are fabric safe, uh, you know, um, markers. So like I said, you're going to be able to, you know, uh, wash this and the markers won't wash out. Same thing with Sharpies. Um, the nice thing about using these fabric uh, markers is they don't bleed through where a Sharpie would. So what you would have to do is you'd have to put a piece of cardboard um, you know, in between your, uh, your front and your back of your t-shirt. So you just put a little piece of cardboard in the middle here and stuff so it wouldn't bleed. But with these fabric markers, I don't have to worry about that and stuff because this doesn't bleed. So... Just adding some color in here. And this is just supposed to be a fun project that the kids, like I said, there's no set design here. It's whatever they like, whatever they think is cool, whatever they think looks pretty. 
That's supposed to be just scribbles. Like I always say, guys, art is about what you think is beautiful. So what you think is beautiful, it might be one thing. What I think is, is beautiful is something else. But as long as you are happy with it, the person that is making it is happy with it, just go with that. So art is beautiful. All art is beautiful. Okay, now when we get done all with our coloring and stuff, the, the next thing that we're going to do, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take off our freezer paper. Okay, so very carefully we're peeling off our little freezer paper. And there you go. There is our cute little scribble initial t-shirt. And wouldn't this be a fun project for all the kids to do and stuff this summer? Something that is that would be very unique and individualized and everybody could have their own uh, with their own initial or like I said if you wanted to make a couple of these up and stuff and, and give them to friends over the summer. But this I think would be a really fun activity you know for if uh, you had a group of, of kids maybe coming in for a family reunion or something and stuff. All the kids could do these. Even adults could do these. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Art with Miss Myra. Please be sure to join me back again uh, for our next episode where, where we're going to be creating another fun, or uh, doing another fun and interesting uh, project. Until then, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see y'all later. Thanks. Bye-bye.